Hey guys, it's Jessie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Jessie. I do bookish videos. And I'm trying out a new thing here, as you can tell by the title. I'm going to go look for free libraries. And this might be like a series on my channel. Don't hold me to that. We'll see how this first goes. <laughs> like a couple nights ago, I saw like a post on Instagram, I think, about a free little library. I'll put it up right here, like what they look like. But... I haven't seen one in a long time, and that's when I stumbled upon it randomly on a walk with a friend, and I'm like, are there some around me? And I found out that there's this app, I'm not sponsored at all by the way, I wish, but it's called Find or Free Little Library app, and you put in your location and like it shows all the free little libraries around you or near you. And I didn't realize there's a lot near me, so we're going to go to three today. Yeah. We'll see first. We'll see how the first one goes. But it's usually take a book, leave a book. So then my handy dandy little tote from Book of the Month, I have a tote full of books that I've unhauled a long time ago that I still haven't, like, given it to Goodwill or a used bookstore. But... I have like six or seven books here that I'm gonna give, take a book, leave a book. And I don't know if I find more than one book that I find at the little library, so I'll, I'll give more than that, but I'll just give you a little haul of the unhaul. Passengers by Alexander Bracken, I never read this. Um, My True Love Gave to Me, short stories, never read this. Looking for Alaska by John Green, never read this. <laughs> The Edge of Everything by Jeff Giles. I've read this, but I accidentally picked up a second copy because I, I thought it was the sequel because I don't have a sequel. I have the first book, which is this, but like I don't need duplicates of it. Um, Last Year's Mistake by Gina Sioka. I've read this. Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. I've read this. What You Hide by Natalie D. Richards. I read, I've read this. So those are the books I have here to give away if I find a book at the Free Little Library. So yeah, I'm just going to keep this in my car because why not? It's a good idea. But yeah, come along with me. Okay, so I'm at the first location and it's at a playground. It really wasn't far. It was just like two stop signs down from where I live. So that was interesting. I never knew this was, or it was here. So I passed by this a lot, but I haven't found it yet, but it shows like a picture on the app of where it is. So I'm thinking it's right over there and there's like kids and a family right there. I'm like, oh, <laughs> if you've been here, you know, I have like anxiety and like social anxiety and panic attack disorder. So I forgot the aspect of going it's in public and there's gonna be people and children <laughs> god i sound horrible That was a success. I found a book and so I gave a book. And this is really in good condition and I'm not gonna show you what the book is. I'll wait till the end if I accumulate more books and give you a little haul. But 
I'm surprised. I've never heard of this book, though. I know of the author, though, and it's hardcover, so I'm, like, really amazed with this. It's really in good condition. Wow. It's a short book, too, but it was so intriguing because, like, <laughs> the first sentence is, when a young man is found grisly murdered on a London houseboat, it triggers questions about three women who knew him. I'm like, salt. <laughs> oh, you just saw a peek. But, yeah. Okay, on to the next location. Okay, so I'm at the third location because the second one was, like, a, in a residential area. And, like, I could not find it. I couldn't see it. Like, I didn't... It was, like, a marina type of place. And I couldn't tell if this house was, like, a house or, like, a public house or what. And it was, like, I think it was behind the house the little free li library was but I did not feel comfortable like walking through the lawn and like the driveway and like I just it just felt like I was trespassing and now I'm here at this third location I think it's inside a store at least that's what it's telling me on my GPS because I don't see anything around like I drove around this building and I did not see anything but it's like inside I guess I'm like inside a Tuesday morning really okay so I found the third one and it's in another residential area but it's such a cute little book house like it's right on the sidewalk to this house so this is why I'm keeping my phone low because they can probably see me but this one is like stuffed full of books so hot out isn't that the cutest like free little library you've ever seen it was like dedicated to their mom because she loved reading but there's a lot of books i did get a book and again it's a really like good condition book sorry for the bad angle but i've never read a book like this but it kind of reminds me of larry reed so that's why i picked it but I'm excited. This is fun so far. <laughs> and I've realized that on the Free Little Library app, sorry, there is a person going by. On the Free Little Library app, when you click on the location, I feel like if it shows a picture of the Free Little Library and its location, then it's like it's there and it's accessible. But if it doesn't, then like, it's there's nothing there that's what i figured out so far but yeah one tip i could give for the free little library people that organize it don't put it directly in front of your house please because you're not gonna get that many visitors like or i guess maybe that's just me okay i take back what i said if there's no picture of the free little library on the location app it's not there because i clicked on the location for one and there's no picture but I found it so maybe I don't know it's just a fluke thing but it's at a park which is a lot better but there's a lot of people here and specifically near the free little library
What are you doing? You can just swoof. Hey guys, so obviously I'm back home. I'm not in my car and it's been a lot of hours later. Because I had to go do something and I'm really shining because I'm sweaty. <laughs> but I wanted to show you my little haul that I got. I ended up going to three little free libraries as you saw, but I only got two books because the last one I went to, I didn't find anything, but I just wanted to give them a book. So yeah. But at the first location was a success because I found A Slow Fire Burning by Paula Hawkins. And I know of Paula Hawkins name because she wrote The Girl on the Train and another book, I think. Yeah, and Into the Water, but I didn't read those and it's fairly short and it's such in good condition for a hardback I was surprised when I found this but when a young man is found gruesomely murdered on a London houseboat it triggers questions about three women who knew him Laura is the troubled one-night stand last seen in the victim's home Carla is his grief-stricken aunt already mourning the recent death of yet another family member Mer Myram, 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 is a nosy neighbor clearly keeping secrets from the police. Three women with separate connections to the victim. Three women who are for different reasons simmering with resentment. Who are, whether they know it or not, burning to right the wrongs done to them. When it comes to revenge, even good people might be capable of terrible deeds. How far might any of one of them go to find peace? How long can secrets smolder before they explode into a flame? Look what you started. It sounds so interesting and like, I'm hooked right away. But also look at the cover. It's just, I've never seen this book before. So the copyright says 2021. So what was this? Last year? And she wrote, um, the girl on the train and the girl in the water before. I don't know how I haven't heard of this, but I've heard of her older ones. Really surprised with my first find. So this next book is the book I got from the second location. I believe it was second location. No, it was a third location. Third location. And I'm wondering now, it's like, is this in a series? Because it says a blacktop cowboy's novel. Which, I'm guessing, it's a, it can be a standalone, but is it within a series? I've never heard of this, and, well, I don't really go for this genre. But it's Racked and Stacked by Laurel Lee James. And I've never read a cowboy romance, but <laughs> I've been listening or watching Larry Reed's. And recently she's been into, like, cowboy romance, which I guess... It was meant to be that I saw this and I got it, but opposites don't just attract in the West, they sizzle. <laughs> Growing up with three older brothers, Larissa, Riz, Thrope, defines the term tomboy, a moniker that never mattered to her until she crossed paths with sexy cowboy player Ike Palmer. Seeing him in action on the road, Riz can tell that Ike prefers his women soft-spoken and feminine. And since Riss is obviously not his type, it's unlikely that they'll mix business and pleasure when they're in close quarters together. Former cattle broker Ike Palmer was ready for a new chapter in his life as a stock contractor when he started working with Riz, a sassy truck driver who gets under his skin at every turn. But Riz is unlike any woman he's ever met, and her candor inflames him in the most unexpected ways. After circumstances force a truce between them, Riss and Ike will have to choose to maintain the stubbornness that keeps them apart or take a chance on the fiery attraction that could lead to something more. I'm intrigued. It sounds like it is part of a series, so I hope this isn't like the second or third in a series. But I guess I will find out. <laughs> So these books are what I found from exploring technically three, but like two of Little Free Libraries. Like this video if you want me to do more videos like this, cause it was fun and it's also like interesting just to see the 
different books accumulated from different people and giving a book. But yeah. <laughs> so like and subscribe for more videos by me and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.